Good day, everyone. It's March Madness time. It's finally here. And if you're running your own March Madness tournament, office pool, something you know where you can't get everyone to go online and sign up for an account somewhere on, on a sports website, if you need to do it yourself, I have the solution for you so that you don't pull your hair out on a Tuesday night in week two, spending eight hours scoring 100 brackets by hand. We have the solution. Been doing it for six or seven years now, and we've perfected the system. So, and we've added Google Docs this year. So, let's get to it. Uh, no more delay. All right. What you're looking at is a Microsoft Excel file. This is the entry bracket. This is the file that you send out to everyone uh, in your tournament. I'm going to protect the sheet when I send this out to you guys, and I would suggest you protecting it when you send it out to all of your participants so that they don't mess with any of the team names. Speaking of team names, this is a, this is a blank bracket right here. They don't want to touch any of the team names except the playing games. The playing games are in yellow because they haven't been decided yet. But uh, you can change the names of these teams if you don't like it, but you're not going to do it here in the blue. You're going to do it on in this yellow part here on the custom team name sheet. If you want to change anything, you can just change these cells in yellow. This is already a protected sheet. You see you uh, can't click on anything outside of the yellow. If you want to unprotect things, you just go up to review and unprotect sheet. So review and unprotect sheet, and you'll be able to touch everything, but you don't really want to. So you protect this thing, and when you send it out, uh, any changing here won't cause any problems because these are the standard names here in column D. These are the standard names that go into the master bracket, which we'll get to later in this video for scoring. So if you need to change any names, you do it right here. For example, if this wanted to be, if you wanted this to be Nova, you make this Nova, and when you go back, you'll see it change to Nova right there automatically. So now it's easy. Now you're just picking with a drop-down menu and choosing team. Instead of going through all this right now, I'm going to go over to, I have one already filled out, this one right here. So after you fill everything out, choose your playing games in yellow, fill in everything, put your name at the top also right here. See that it's, it's red if you don't put your name in there. Jeb, let's do Jeb, why not? I so. I've gone through a sample bracket. After this is entirely filled out, what happens is there's a list down here. This is a list of all the results. This You will not be able to access this if the file is protected. So your entrance cannot mess with that. You can't even touch it when the file is protected. So you will need to go and unprotect sheet in order to grab that. That whole range down here, you don't have to copy this by hand. You can go up here in this area. This is called, uh, this is a named range bar. And you can choose the Apex range. If you choose the Apex range, it automatically highlights it for you. And then you just copy it. And then you go to the master bracket. The master bracket is the big scoring bracket. This is the file that, this is the special file with all the formulas that you'll need to do all your scoring. Uh, I do charge for this file. It's $10 if you have 20 entrants or below. It's $20 if you have more than 20 entrants, all the way up to about 100 and then I usually charge like $25 if you have up to 500 entrants. But it's pretty easy to expand this for entrants. So 10 20 or $25. Uh, and if you, if you tug at me, I'll probably send it to you for free. But... Um, I spent a lot of hours doing this, so I really appreciate uh, anybody who contributes because it, it keeps me going to do this every year. Now, this master bracket here, we just copied a range. And what you do is you go to the All Data Sheet. This is a huge list of everyone's results. And we just copied that area. All you have to do is go here, and this is the best one. It's Paste Special. Not You don't do a regular paste. Paste Special, and you want to do Values. You can see that. It's actually this one, it's values one, or if you're doing it from the shortcut menu, then it's going to be one, the one that says one, two, three in front of it. Values in number 40, just values. This one that says values right there. And it's going to paste the results right in here. So we've just pasted Jeb's picks. It was that easy. If Jeb sends you his completed file, all you gotta do is copy that, paste that in here. 
Now, let's move on to the Google Docs entry bracket version for everybody who doesn't have Excel and still needs entrance to fill it out. We have this Google Docs, Google Sheets version, uh, an anonymous dingo is in here right now. Uh, it's the 2017 Google Docs version, very similar uh, to the other version. It's going to have the same range at the bottom that's going to get filled in when you fill this thing out. But this one has a, a little, um, there are some helpful visual color cues in here. When you choose your teams, the next cell turns into pink, or you see, I just it keeps showing if, if it doesn't match, if something's wrong, you'll see that it shows up in pink. For example, if you have East Tennessee, Virginia, and then you say, oh, I think Virginia's going to win here, but no, wait a minute, I changed my mind. I think East Tennessee's going to beat Virginia. And all of a sudden, Virginia shows in red because it can't be a pick here because you, you, Virginia, you didn't have Virginia advancing in the previous round. So things will show up in pink if there's trouble. The reason these ones show in pink is because uh, they're waiting to be chosen, essentially, the first round. See, it keeps showing up in pink. It's telling you to pick. So instead of going through all this, I have one of these already done. And this is Ken's Talk Scraps entry. Uh, one thing to know, that this area right here is for the number of points in the total game. If you use this as a tiebreaker, I mean, Excel version, it is also right there. Uh, so let's go back to Google Docs. So we have this Ken's Talk Spraps entry that I've completed. Let's grab this range. There's no, uh, there's no range bar in Google Docs or Google Sheets. So you just have to copy this. Copy it. And you can go into Excel, which you're going to have to go into Excel to paste this because I don't have a master scoring bracket in Google Sheets. Only have the master file here that the one that you have to pay for. This one, let's see, mass distribution formatting, let's do that. So it's going to come in as values automatically when you paste from Google Sheets. So you won't have a problem pasting as values when you're pasting in from Google Sheets. By the way, let me show you what happens when you screw up on that paste, because you'll you'll see it right away. Say you grab this, this area again through the Apex range, we're in the Excel file. So if you bring in this entire Apex range, copy this, and you make the mistake in the master bracket of doing a regular paste, like a control V or just a regular paste here, you can see that it looks destroyed and it gives you this error message. Just press yes and then undo. Undo up here or control Z is what I'm pressing. To, to stop that because you'll see that it's incorrect. So you always got to paste values when you're coming from the Excel file, the one, two, three. It's the one, it's the one to put there. And from Google Sheets, it will be no problem. So when you have pasted these results in here, this is the fun part of the scoring file. You go over to the master bracket, master bracket sheet, and as you start to fill in the actual results when the final results of the games come in, and fill in other beats whoever that is in Wisconsin, once you start to fill these things in, what happens is all the scoring is over here to the left. This is how many points you want to award each round. In round one, say you give people one point for getting the correct team. In round two, you give them two. In round three, you give them three points. In round four, you give them five points. In round five, you give them eight points. Six. This is, I, I think, the Fibonacci sequence of scoring. But you can change this. You can say, oh, I want to give five points for the second round, 10 points for the third round, and 20, and then 25, and 30, I don't know, you can do whatever you want. And as soon as you change these numbers here for how much, how many points you're going to award for each win, it's gonna automatically update all these formulas over here and give the proper results. Let me go a little four so I can show you what some standings look like. So we're picking some teams, this is the actual master bracket actual results, you go to the standing sheet where we have a pivot table where you refresh this pivot table. Here, You right click inside and you refresh and then you can collapse this. And this thing I'm going to be doing other videos throughout the tournament to show you how to manipulate this and change this around. But it will automatically say, let's see here, more sort options descending by current points. It will give you the order of everyone, how many points they have, how many potential points they have remaining, their total possible points. You can sort this by anything. You can slice and say, oh, you know, who has East Tennessee? How far do they have East Tennessee? You can start opening up and say, oh, I've got East Tennessee 
in game four. What round is that? I have East Tennessee all the way through into round five, or somebody does. Yeah, here, Jeb has East Tennessee all the way into round five. Uh, you can start to really mess around with this. Grab, so you can grab around, put it down here. And this would show you what rounds they have East Tennessee as a winner all the way. You know, Jeb has it all the way through uh, round five. A lot of different ways we can display scoring, and uh, we'll walk you through that and show you what, how these slicers work and how to ma manipulate your pivot table to get it to show what you want it to show. You can only show current entrance so that the table looks a little better. A lot, a lot of things we can do here, and I'll get into that later. You're going to want to have Excel on a Microsoft computer to really use this pivot table to its fullest potential. It still will work on a Mac, but uh, the slicers won't, won't exist, and you'll get an error when you open the file that talks about um, a macro-enabled file, which it really isn't, but it's just a, a pivot slicer. It's causing that error. So if you're on a Mac, you might need some additional help from me to get this to look right. But uh, so once you get everyone's entries in here and they send you their bracket back, email out to it, or on Google Docs, you're going to uh, share the file with them. Well, that's the other thing I want to show you what to do in Google Docs is you can request access to this file and I'll share it with you, but I'm only going to share download privileges with you. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to Make a oh, you're going to want to download. No, no, you're going to want to make a copy of this file and save it on your own drive. Yes, you're going to want to make a copy of this file and save it on your own drive, and then give the same instructions to your entrance and share it with them and tell them to download it on their own to make a copy of it, save it on their own drive or wherever, and then have them share it with you when they're done filling it out. And then you can get this area here that you need to paste into your master bracket. Uh, or you could just add, you can, you can copy these sheets. You can uh, dupl sorry, duplicate the sheet down here. If you duplicate it when it's blank, like if we du duplicate, this is a blank one. You can duplicate this one, duplicate, then you end up getting a, uh, you, can, you can name this and say, oh, this is, this is John, John G's bracket, right? G's bracket. So you, you could also do it that way and share the file with people and allow them to edit it, but you'd have to trust people that they wouldn't edit, or edit other people's brackets. So I would, I would suggest that you just have them go up here uh, when you share it with them and make a copy and save it on their own drive and then have them share it back with you when you're done. So uh, I'm sure there will be more questions. Email me, kenakenstock.com, if you have them. There's a link to the Excel file. There's a link to the Google Doc and the master bracket. Well, let me know if, if you want to do this. Let me know how many entrants you have and if you have any special scoring scenarios. For example, I've done, uh, I've done versions in the past. Five, eight... 13. I've done versions in the past where uh, you award upset scoring. You know, if, if you pick an upset to win and it wins in a certain round, you can multiply that round by the difference between the seed. Uh, like if, if a 16 beat a 1, you, you multiply the round by the difference in seeds, so you get awarded like four, 15 points if a 16 beat a 1 and you had it. And then in round 2, if a 16 beat an 8, you would have uh, 8 point bonus times the round, which is two, so you get like a 16-point bonus for having 16 beat an eight if it happened in round two. There's upset scores. There's all kinds of different things that I've formulated in other versions of this file, so if you have special scoring scenarios, let me know and I can help build you a custom file, which I will definitely charge you for that, though, because I'm super busy right now. So, um, but if you need it, I can do it, and I might have, I do have the upset scoring one. I kind of have a version already completed, so if that's how you do your scoring, uh, it's pretty easy to adjust. And um, let me know if you have any questions, and happy March Madison, KenneKenstalk.com, and good luck.